All right, welcome back to News Nation's special coverage of Super Tuesday. We are waiting for our results to come in from all those states and all those millions and millions of American voters going to polls today. In the meantime, as we wait, let's bring in two Democratic members of Congress, both from North Carolina, Congressman Wiley Nickel and Congressman Kathy Manning. Good to have both of you with us. Uh, Congressman Manning, I'd like to start with you. Uh, you are one of the members of uh, Congress who are Jewish. And President Biden has taken a lot of hits from uh, the progressive wing of his party and from protesters who feel they disagree with his policy toward Israel. We know that on several ballots today in these Super Tuesday states, there is a uh, uncommitted or no preference option. Do you how do you think he's going to fare in that? It was a pretty strong showing in Michigan. I don't know in the exit polling that we're seeing a lot of Democratic voters, however, really, really are focused on this. Michigan and North Carolina are very, very different states. Uh, I think that if you look at the polls, the vast majority of Americans support Israel and understand that what's going on in Gaza was caused by Hamas. When Hamas went into Israel, invaded on October 7th, killed more than 1,200 innocent people, slaughtered them, uh, did uh, incredibly horrendous things to people, and then, of course, are holding hostages. They still have American hostages. I think the vast and more majority of Americans uh, are with Israel and understand uh, that, that President Biden will stand with our ally Israel, the only democratic country in the Middle East. And you don't think that, I know you're North Car you make a good point, North Carolina is not Michigan, but Michigan could be the key uh, when it comes to the general election in November. And if enough Michigan Democrats stay home and don't vote for Biden, that could hurt them. I think in the long run, people are going to think about what the choice is. With, with Trump, we have somebody who told us he's going to be an autocrat on day one. We have somebody who stacked the Supreme Court so that we've had rights taken away from us. Look at what happened with the repeal of Roe versus Wade and with the Alabama IVF decision. That, that idea that rights are being stripped away is going to be on the ballot. I think people okay. will think about that choice. All right, Congressman Nickel, uh, you have actually said to President Biden you think that he could win North Carolina this time around. Why do you think that's possible? You know, I, I think it's this is the state that is going to make the difference in this election. And the, the road to the White House is going to come through the great state of North Carolina. It's the state that Trump won by the smallest amount. And we are moving, you know, every election closer to being a blue state. Uh, we're going to get over the, over the finish line in this one because there is a huge choice and a big difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And I just got to ask you about the, uh, the, the governor primary that's happening today. We were just talking a few moments ago about... Uh, you've got the state attorney general, uh, the Democratic, uh, he's running for the Democratic uh, primary uh, for the nomination and running and leading in the Republican nomination is a Trump endorsed candidate, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who's said some pretty eye popping things in the past. Um, what do you make of, of yeah, him? I mean, Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think Donald Trump is bad, Mark Robinson is 10 times worse. He is a far right extremist. And Josh Stein, our attorney general, is going to clean up the floor with him. And, and here's something I think that matters for this, this governor's race that will be the most competitive governor's race in the country. How many Democrats have won statewide on the same ballot that Trump has won statewide in the last two elections? There's not many, but Josh Stein is one of them. So you are predicting that in a general election, Mark Robinson will lose despite this robust uh, endorsement from former President Trump just a few days ago? Yeah, I think Republicans certainly made the wrong choice. They picked the most extreme candidate, not someone who's going to do anything to try to bring our country together, bring our state together. Uh, Mark Robinson, someone who wants to ban abortion and has said this, the things that, that you said earlier that are absolutely uh, beyond, the, you know, beyond the pale. Okay. Congressman Wiley Nickel, Congressman Kathy Manning, thanks so much for being with us from the great state of North Carolina. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.